All right, let's get into actually creating proper, uh, creating components and then passing some properties into them. So we've already have this app component, um, but there's not really any properties to pass in. Like it technically is possible, but it's not really that useful. Uh, it becomes a lot more useful when we're breaking things out. Like for example, let's break out this H1 into a sort of a custom header title tag that we can use across all of our applications. And we want it to be consistently styled, which is why we're gonna create a reusable component for this. So in my Atoms folder, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name this. Um, this is going to be a like a main title. .rs. Now, if I want to have a file inside of this folder, I also have to have a mod.rs that's just going to sort of re-export these other files here. So we're going to do a pub mod main title. And then in our main library, we can do a uh, mod components. Uh, I just realized that components is outside. Okay, so I need a mod inside of here too. And you're going to be a pub mod uh, atoms. And so that's going to make main title available all the way inside of live.rs. So let's go ahead and create another component uh, for an H1 tag. Um, I'm not going to style this one necessarily. Well, should we style this one? Um, I'm not going to style it right now because uh, we've already gone over that and we're going to go over properties today. So we're going to use U, prelude, uh, star. Uh, we're going to have our pub function. This is going to be a main title. You're going to return HTML. Uh, you're going to use the function component, and you're going to be a main title. And uh, this is just going to be an H1 tag. So if we want something like just a hello world here, let's uh, head back into the library and just make sure we can load this up. It's gonna be hello world without the exclamation points. Uh, now I do have to pull that in. So we're gonna do a uh, after the mod. We're gonna use a use components, atoms, main title, main title. And now this gives us access to main title. I'm going to use that slash at the end because I don't actually need to uh, uh, use like the double of them with, you know, this style. Uh, this is just going to be one thing. So if we hit save, we head back over here. We see hello world without those exclamation points. Okay, uh, we do notice that this style sheet is still affecting uh, this um, uh, this H1 tag. So that is something to be aware of is, yes, it's scoped to this component, but then there's components inside of that that obviously will also be affected. Okay, so I want to, uh, I want to customize this so it's not hello world, but just whatever title I want to give it. So for a specific component, we want to make it a little bit more generic. Uh, in React, I would use a property. So something like um, maybe title equals, and then just have some text like, um, hi there. Now, when I do this, it's saying, hey, there's no field title on type uh, open to close parentheses. Like, basically, there are no properties accepted here. And this is, well, now where Rust starts helping us out because we're going to get the type system of Rust uh, for the properties. So right now, we don't have any defined. So for our title, let's go ahead and uh, create some properties for us, which we're going to take in as part of this function here. 
So to do that, we need to create a struct. So we're going to do a, a pub struct. Uh, I usually just call it the properties. Um, props. Uh, let's see, we want to have, I think we call it title, and you're going to be a string. And we can then uh, props are these props. Now you're going to yell at us because this isn't, um, uh, I think it actually says, yeah, expected reference to a properties type. So this is letting us know. Uh, oh, it needs to be a reference to. Uh, this is letting us know that it needs to be to implement the properties um, uh, trait uh, provided to us by you. Now, you also has a macro to help us out, so we can just derive uh, properties. Um, now, in order to derive properties, it also needs to derive uh, partial equal. At that point, we have no errors. So everything is happy. Uh, this is happy now. Um, if I leave this out and don't have the title in, it's actually going to yell at us because main title needs that properties. If I want to make this optional, I would have to come in here and make this an option type. At this point, this is now legal, and I can still do title equals, and this is also perfectly fine. That being said, for this h1 tag, we always want a title. We always want that to be there, so I don't need to do an option. That just makes it, I just need to do an extra unwrap or, or handle it somewhere else. So we're just going to have this title. We're going to know that we have it, which means at this point uh, for this h1 instead of a static string here i'm going to just put in props dot title but i can't move out of props so i need to reference it and that now means we have a hi there so in our live.rs Whenever I want, I can just make any changes to this, hit save, and for this specific uh, main title, it'll update for me, and uh, that is how we can pass properties into child components and have them uh, basically just take, be customizable. I can now use this main title anywhere I want and have the title change depending upon what that page is, which is uh, kind of essential for component-based development. Anyways, hopefully this is helpful. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.